Hey, I'm Kat with Crafted Taste, and I'm here with Matt. Uh, Matt's a subscriber, and he's a uh, software engineer here in Indy. Um, he loves cocktails, but uh, he is not a professional in any way. So together, we're going to show you how to make the Satan's Circus. All right, so we have all the ingredients here from uh, our Satan's Circus cocktail kit. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, so we have the Old Overholt Rye. Uh, this is a rye whiskey-based cocktail. Um, you can drink it straight if you like. <laughs> it smells amazing. Uh, we have the uh, herring cherry liqueur right there. And then we also have uh, the Aperol. So this cocktail does require a little bit of prep before you make it. Um, the cocktail has chili infused Aperol in it. So beforehand, just take about six ounces of the Aperol and soak two to three of the Thai bird chilies uh, in just a jar or a bowl, whatever you have available. Soak that for about two hours. You can taste it after two hours. If it's not as spicy as you like things, you can soak it for a little bit longer. Um, but we, we recommend the two hours to start with. And then just strain out the chilies and um, you can keep this in a container with a lid or go ahead and use it all right away. Uh, so we have done that beforehand. That's what we've got right here. And now we're going to show you how to make the cocktail. All right, what do I do? All right, so first off, uh, we're going to take our empty cocktail shaker there, and we're going to put pour two ounces of the rye whiskey. Is it okay so, if I try it first? Can I sure. Try it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I like to try the the individual ingredients first, so I kind of know what I'm getting into. I mean, not like I haven't had I've had some whiskey once. <laughs> How's that? Oh, that's really good. It's it's on the smoother side. Uh, that's gonna be interesting. Okay. So how much of uh, how much of the whiskey? So you, you need two ounces. So this this side is two ounces. Yep. Okay. Put that in. Check. All right. Now we're gonna take the herring cherry liqueur. All right. You need three fourths of an ounce. Right. So on this jigger, mm -hmm. this bottom part is one ounce. Okay, so uh, we just kind of eyeball. Exactly, that's what I do. Okay. We'll Make do. sure, um, <laughs> for those people at home, uh, Make sure that you know, you test out your jigger and know how much each end holds because there are a lot of different sizes out there. I know that this one is two ounces, um, this larger part is two ounces and this is one ounce, but just make sure you know that beforehand. Oh my gosh, this cherry liqueur is amazing. I might just <laughs> drink that by itself sometimes. All right, so three fourths of an ounce of that. Okay. All right. And now we need three fourths of an ounce of the chili infused Aperol. Okay. So got that right there. What does this smell like? It starts off sweet, but then you can definitely tell that it's spicy. And try a little bit of it. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. I bet it gets pretty spicy by itself. The great thing with uh, infusing it is that you can really control the spice level. So you can even start out just do one one hour if you don't like spicy things, and just keep trying it every every hour, half an hour and you can really control how spicy you make this cocktail. Oh, well, that's, yeah, no, that's really good. And so how much of this? Three-fourths of an ounce. Three-fourths of an ounce, okay. And we are using the uh, recipe cards that are included in the kit here. All right. All right, and now we have some fresh lemon juice, which we just squeezed beforehand. So you need three-fourths of an ounce of fresh lemon juice. So this is a pretty easy recipe. It's Basically, two ounces of the whiskey and three fourths an ounce of all the other ingredients. Pour that in. Okay. All right. Now you got the fun part. Add ice. Okay. Check. And put the the lid on, nice and tight. Okay. And, and shake. Shake uh, once once you feel the outside has gotten kind of frosty and cold to the touch, which it has here. Um, that's how, how you know um, when you've cooled it all the way through. All right, so now you can take that little part off the top. Okay. And strain that into your cocktail or coupe glass. And there you go. All right. No garnish on this one, just nice and simple. And go ahead and try it. Yeah, it <laughs> looks really good.
Oh wow, that is that's really refreshing. Yeah, it's like a I want to go outside in our nice 80 degree weather and have a glass of this. Awesome. It's really good. Now this cocktail comes uh, from the bar at the Nomad in New York City. And actually the Nomad just won uh, the James Beard Awards uh, Best Bar Program for 2014. So it's a really great cocktail bar. If you're in New York City, go ahead and check it out. And uh, subscribe to Craft to Taste so you can get more cocktails every month. I absolutely agree to both of those things. You can <laughs> certainly subscribe to Craft to Taste. And I've been to the Nomad. Great cocktails and also, if you're interested in beer, they have a great sour beer menu. Really great place. 